You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. One evening, things are getting a little wild at Caillou's house because Caillou and Rosie were excited about the animals they were going to see at the zoo. Arr, I want to see the tigers. <coughs> and pallets. <laughs> I know you're excited, kids, but we're not going until the weekend. Hey, look. The zoo is offering camel rides. Really? That'll be fun, sitting way up there on the camel's hump, don't you think? Yay! Camel! Riding on a camel sounded like fun. But after seeing a picture of a camel, Caillou wasn't so sure. The next day at preschool, Caillou asked Leo what he thought of camels. Do you like camels, Leo? Nuh-uh. They're weird. They have big humps on their backs. And big, googly eyes. And a funny, long neck. And they don't like people. And they spit. Really? really? Ew. Ew! Here we are, the zoo. What should we do first, kids? How about a camel ride? No, um, I want to see the monkeys first. Can we please? <laughs> okay, little monkeys, come on. <laughs> Look, Rosie, I'm a monkey. <laughs> We've been watching the monkey for a long time. I think Rosie wants to go now, Caillou. Why don't we go for a camel ride? Yay! Camel ride! Caillou didn't want to go for a camel ride. But he didn't know how to tell Mommy and Daddy. Rosie likes parrots. Maybe we should go see the birds next. Right, Rosie? Parrots! <laughs> okay, come on then. Rosie liked watching parrots. But soon she'd had enough of this too. Go now? But you like the parrots, Rosie. Let's stay and watch them some more. Uh, uh. Look, I'm a parrot. You be a parrot, too. No. Bye-bye, Pally. Look, kids, the camel rides are nearby. But look, there are sea otters. We like sea otters, don't we, Rosie? Can we go, please? Okay, we'll go see the sea otters, and then we'll go see the camel. Caillou pretended to be very interested in watching the sea otters. But even he was getting a little bored. Go now, Mommy? No? Yes, Rosie. It's time to go now. Come on, Caillou. Let's go and see the camel. But I want to go back and see the monkeys again. Can we, please? Caillou, you know you can tell us if something's bothering you. I don't want to go for a camel ride. They don't like people. And they spit. Spit? I've always heard camels are really nice, but you don't have to go for a camel ride if you don't want to. It's your choice, but maybe you should come and see the camel before you decide. Caillou thought about this. He had to admit, he was a little curious about camels. Okay. Hi, camel! Hi there. Are you next up for a camel ride? We're not quite ready yet. Caillou here just wants to watch. That's okay. Caillou, this is Rudy. He loves meeting new people. 
Do you want to come and say hi? Does he spit? Spit? No, not usually. He's very friendly. And he's a pretty nifty animal. <coughs> Take a look at Rudy's feet. <laughs> he only has two toes. That's right. Camels need toes like that for walking in the desert. Their toes spread out to keep them from sinking in the sand. And when camels walk, they step with both legs on one side of their body and then both legs on the other side. Not many creatures walk like this. Camels were becoming more and more interesting to Caillou. What else do you know about camels? Well, did you know that camels are the only animals with a hump like this? Most people think camels store water in their humps, but they actually store fat. With all that fat, they can go a long time without eating. Up to two weeks. Two weeks? That is a long time. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a camel. Would you like to touch Rudy? I do it! <laughs> Come on! Hi, Rudy. Caillou was pleased that Rudy didn't spit on him. In fact, Rudy didn't seem to mind him at all. Would you like to help feed Rudy? Um... Come on, Caillou. We'll feed Rudy together. Rudy was very gentle. Caillou was amazed. So, who wants to go for a camel ride? Me, please. Hi, camel! Okay. Mm. Up we go, then. Caillou. Our turn next, Rosie. Camel rides are really fun. I like Rudy. Can we come back again sometime? Sure. I don't see why not. And when Rudy walks, he moves both legs on one side and then both legs on the other side. And it's really fun! Wow. wow! I can't wait to go to the zoo and have a camel ride. Caillou didn't just overcome his fear of camels. He inspired others to do the same. It's not too big for me. It was after preschool, and Caillou was still getting dressed to go home. Gotta make sure we're all bundled up. There, finally, we're all set. Wave goodbye to Miss Martin. Bye bye! Bye, Miss Martin! Bye, Caillou! <laughs> this way, Rosie. The big hill looked very exciting. Can we go tobogganing, Daddy? Please? Not today, but tomorrow's Saturday. We'll come back then. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> come on, Rosie. Tomorrow, I'm going to go down the big hill. Hmm. It's pretty big. Maybe you should wait and see what you think tomorrow. But Caillou couldn't keep his eyes off the <laughs> big hill. He was feeling very sure of himself. <laughs> Mommy! Guess what, Mommy? Daddy's going to take us tobogganing tomorrow, and I'm going to go down the big hill. Well, that's exciting news. B but don't you think the big hill might be too big, Caillou? It's not too big for me. 
Like I said, Caillou, wait until tomorrow and we'll see. Daddy, wake up. It's time to go to the park. We're all bundled up. I helped Rosie. We couldn't find one of her boots, so I lent her one of my old ones. <laughs> old boot! Daddy whispered too, just like Caillou and Rosie, so they wouldn't wake up Mommy. Good job, Caillou. But I think I know where to find Rosie's missing boot. Come on, we'll fix some breakfast before we go. Rosie, not here. We have to go to the big hill. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> Faster, Daddy, go faster. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hold on to Daddy, Rosie. It's a big hill. Too big for you by yourself, but not too big for... The hill was a lot bigger than Caillou had thought. Caillou go? The hill was too big for Caillou. He didn't know what to do. You know, Caillou, playing by yourself is okay, but sometimes it's more fun playing with a friend. Instead of playing on this big hill by yourself, it might be more fun to play with Rosie on the little hill. What do you think? Can you play? Yeah, playing with Rosie would be more fun. Want me to go down the little hill with you, Rosie? You can be in front. Yeah! Hi, Caillou. Guess what? I'm going down the big hill. It's really big, Andre. It's not too big for me. Daddy, can I go watch Andre go down the big hill, please? Okay, but be careful. Yeah! Come on, Caillou, hurry. I want to go down the big... Whoa. <laughs> The hill was a lot bigger than Andre thought, too. It really is big. Too big for you? No way. It's just that, uh... The hill was too big for Andre, but he didn't want to tell Caillou. Sometimes it's more fun playing with a friend. Huh? Instead of playing on the big hill all alone, you could play with me and Rosie on the little hill. Yeah, we can all play together. That will be more fun. Yeah! Come on, Caillou. Let's go. I thought Andre was going down the big hill. I think he was scared of the big hill. Hmm. Well, there's nothing wrong with being afraid of something. But sometimes, it's not easy to say you're afraid. Caillou knew just what Daddy meant because he didn't want to say he was scared to go down the big hill. Just like Andre. I told Andre it would be more fun to play with me and Rosie. So then, he didn't have to say he was scared. That was a good thing you did for your friend, Caillou. Maybe next year, Andre and I will go down the big hill. Come on, Caillou! Give us a push, Daddy! Go, 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 go! Yahoo! Caillou learned that it was okay to be afraid of something. He would slide down the big hill. Someday. 
playing space adventure. Have you seen any alien robots around, Daddy? Alien robots? Hmm, let me think. I'm on a space adventure! And Leo is the alien robot. <laughs> now I get it. Well, last I saw, the alien robot was in the kitchen, drinking lemonade with Rosie. Lemonade? Save some for me! What? It's not lemonade, Caillou. It is rocket fuel. That's what alien robots like to drink. Suddenly, Caillou saw something strange. I don't believe it. I think I just saw a flying saucer. Flying saucer? Are you sure it was a flying saucer? Um, it was round and flat and silver and shiny. There! It looked just like that. It was kind of small, but it must have been a flying saucer. Flying saucer! Your dinner is getting cold, Caillou. Sorry, Mommy, but I don't want to miss the flying saucer when it comes back. You know, it might have been something else that you saw. But what else is round and flat and silver and shiny and flies around? Flying saucer! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Sweet. What did the aliens look like, Caillou? I didn't see the aliens, just their flying saucer. But we think they were green and had three eyes, just like in the comic book. Wow! Wow! That sounds very exciting, Caillou. But you know, sometimes the things we see aren't really what we think they are. But what else is round and flat and silver and shiny and flies around? I don't know. It certainly is a mystery. I know! I'll find it and bring it in for show and tell. Then everyone will see. Yay! Yay! That is very adventurous of you, Caillou. But I hope you won't be too disappointed if you don't find a flying saucer. Don't worry. I'll find it. Just wait. Caillou decided he would try to catch the little flying saucer. Soon as the flying saucer comes back, we run outside and catch it with Daddy's net. Okay, Rosie? Flying saucer. Right. Gilbert, you're gooping up my binoculars. I won't be able to see the flying saucer. Ah! Flying saucer! Yeah, flying saucer. Flying saucer! Flying saucer! <gasps> Caillou realized that catching a flying saucer was harder than he thought. He needed a new plan. All right. If your flying saucer comes back, I guess you can try to take a picture of it to show your class. Thanks, Mommy. But if it doesn't come back, that's okay too, because everyone will know you tried your best. It'll come back. I know it will. Then I'll show everybody. Thanks, Mommy. Rosie, they're silver like the one we saw. <laughs> Look! Rosie, <laughs> Daddy, Mommy, Gipper! And no flying saucers. 
You tried your best. That's what's important, Caillou. And you did take some very funny photos of your family, especially this one of Gilbert. I think I have a frame for it so you can hang it in your room. was disappointed. It wasn't a flying saucer after all. It was only a pie plate that had blown out of the recycle bin. Flying saucer! It's not a flying saucer, Rosie. It's just stuff blowing around in the wind. Thank you, Rosie. The wind sure has been blowing the last few days. Why so glum, Caillou? I told everyone at school I'd find a flying saucer. Now I have to tell them it was just a pie plate. I see. You know, Caillou, instead of being disappointed about what you didn't do, you should be proud about what you did do. What I mean is, you didn't prove it was a flying saucer. But you did solve the mystery by proving what it really was, a pie plate. I did do that. Can I please have the pie plate to take to school, Daddy? Flying saucer! <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. It looks like a flying saucer. Yeah, but it's just an old pie plate, and I proved it. Yay! <laughs> Good work, Caillou. You know, I think you've given me a good idea for an art project. <laughs> hey, look! Leo's an alien! A robot alien. I am thirsty. I need a drink of rocket fuel. Caillou <laughs> <laughs> didn't find a flying saucer, but he did enjoy making one with his friends. Do, do.